Say DNA evidence helped them crack a cold case investigation out of East Hampton. A South Carolina man, formerly of East Hampton, is now facing charges in the death of Gertrude Ochenkowski. She was strangled to death nearly 16 years ago. News 8's Tina Detell has the story from East Hampton. From the start, police had Gerald Brian Tuttle in their sights. He was the maintenance man for this building, doing renovations on the apartments upstairs, and of course, he had keys to the building. He also knew that Gertrude Ochenkowski did her laundry here. She was a very nice girl. She lived just down the road here. Jane Christopher would see Trudy Ochanowski around town. She, like many in East Hampton, horrified with her murder. Last seen at the Main Street laundromat on January 11, 1998, Ochanowski's body was discovered the next day in this shallow stream. Every time I go by that brook where they found her, it was just, you think of her, you know? Yeah. It's very hard. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but very I'm very glad that they found somebody that did it. 51-year-old Gerald Bryan Tuttle, the person police believe, did it. They also felt the former maintenance man, who had been convicted of raping an East Haddam woman in 1989, had motive and opportunity, and now they have their evidence. The DNA evidence, the, uh, the improvements in technology and the DNA analysis uh, brought it to where we are today. A break in a nearly 16-year-old case, the former East Hampton police chief and his officers never forgot. They also never forgot Tuttle, who moved out of town soon after the murder. We worked this case for the, that 15-year period. Um, Sergeant Kelly was relentless uh, in his pursuit of this. Bail for Tuttle has been set at a million dollars in South Carolina. Now, he has not yet waived his right to extradition, so it may be a little while until he returns here to Connecticut to face these charges. In East Hampton, Tina Detell, News 8.